The main purpose of a water tower is to provide water storage, pressure for the surrounding area, and backup capacity in the case of a fire demand. Once water is treated at the Sam H. Hobbs water treatment plant, it is moved into the distribution system, which is more than 400 miles of pipes under the city that provide immediate water service to homes and businesses. Water also is pumped into Bloomington's towers. We have two water towers that are what we refer to as elevated storage in Bloomington. The one we're standing next to is our northwest tower that's 112 feet tall above the ground we're standing on right now. But as you can see, it's built up on a hill. The other tank at Valley View Park is 178 feet tall. The towers fill up at night and then replenish the distribution system during the day when water consumption is at its peak. And if you've ever wondered why they're built so high, it's all about gravity. The pressure at any given point in the distribution system is a function, the difference in elevation of the water in the storage tank and the point at which you're using it. So the closer your elevation is to the top of the tank, the lower the water pressure. The farther down you are from the elevation in the tank, the higher the water pressure. When you turn on your faucet, drink from a fountain, or take a shower, that water is readily available because of constant pressure within the distribution system. But what about communities that don't use elevated storage for water? Not all communities have towers, but at that point they need to run pumps all the time. They have to be pumping water all the time continuously and adding to their power costs. But they save the cost of building and maintaining the water tower. It's a community choice.